Hello, my name is Simona Millam and I'm your Microsoft Office trainer and I'm really pleased that you're going to be learning Excel 2016 with me because it is such a clever product and we've got some brilliant technology to learn. Now Excel has really come on a long way since I first started teaching it. I think this must be a screenshot of Excel 97. Huh, there's Clippy, bet you never thought you'd see him again. But to be honest, the biggest problem that I had in creating this course was knowing where to stop. So I've kept it very much within the confines of an end user because there's lots of potential for very specialised uses of Excel. But believe you me, that doesn't mean I've skimped on any of the interesting stuff. Oh no, far from it. So hold on to your hats. Let me take you on a whistle-stop tour of the highlights of this course. Now, rest assured, if you are brand new to Excel, I will take you through all of the basics of creating and formatting your spreadsheet and how to use it to do your calculations and your data analysis. And then we'll look at things like how to create and save a custom number format. I get asked that an awful lot. And how to recover unsaved files. <laughs> now that's a lifesaver. But we will then quite quickly progress to functionality that even people who have been using Excel for years might not yet have explored very much, such as conditional formatting like you can see here and how to create these little infographics, which you could then use on a PowerPoint slide, for example. And of course, we will cover some of Excel's many functions. And if you're really keen, we can have a go at creating our own function as well. Excel has some rather fantastic new chart types, so I will take you through examples of each of those. And we'll also look at how to protect your workbook so that certain ranges, for example, are only editable by specific people. Not many people know how to do that. And you'll learn how we can analyze data and start creating pivot tables and pivot charts with slices and timelines like you can see here. And we will even have a look at Power Pivot for Excel and see how Excel 2016 now supports relationships between multiple tables. Now, if you're a database kind of person, you'll probably get quite excited about that. We'll also create some really clever dynamic reports with Power View, and we'll try out the what if commands as well as we'll look at the new forecasting functions in Excel 2016. But a highlight for me though has to be Excel's 3D maps. Well worth a look if you've got data with a geographical element. And I'll show you how to record a macro and we'll have a quick look at the code behind it too. And if that wasn't enough, we'll even learn how to create a worksheet form like this one here. And also we'll see how you can use Excel on your iPad as well. Wow. I've got a bit of practical stuff I need to mention too, because you've got 32 more nuggets after this introduction that you can work through on this course. And if you are new to Excel, then I absolutely would recommend that you start at the beginning and work your way through. But you might find, for example, that when you get to the functions nuggets, that the getting started one is enough for you at this stage, and you might choose to then jump straight on to the nuggets after that, and then maybe come back to the other functions nuggets at a later point in time. On the other hand, if you're already a confident Excel user and you do rather fancy creating your own function or learning about 3D maps or having a look at the new forecasting functions, then by all means dive straight into those particular nuggets without working your way through to them all the way from the beginning. And to help you, I would love it if you used Excel along with me. So I've uploaded all of my files so that you can use the very same spreadsheets that I'm working on whilst you're watching a nugget. Now that's really going to help with your learning and I would just love it if you would do that. And finally, it can be a bit confusing as to which Excel you need to be using to be able to follow this course. So Excel is purchased as part of Microsoft Office and Microsoft Office does come in lots of different flavours and you can see some examples here. So if you've got Office 2016 Professional Plus or Standard, then that would be absolutely great. You can follow this course just perfectly. But also Office is available as part of some of the Office 365 plans. Now note that I haven't included all of the Office 365 plans here, but for example, the E1 plan would not be suitable because it only contains the online versions of Excel, which although it does share some functionality with Excel 2016, you wouldn't really be able to follow this course very easily using it. The other Office 365 E plans though would be absolutely perfect. The business edition and the home and student editions would be absolutely fine, but I have only given them a yellow tick on my chart here because they don't include Power Pivot, but you should be absolutely fine with the rest of the functionality. In fact, I recorded almost all of this course using the home and student edition of Office 365. And finally, the Mac edition of Office 2016 is a different product again. And although, of course, there is some overlap of functionality, 
I think it would be quite tricky to follow this course using the Mac version. So don't forget that Office 365 is a subscription product and therefore feature updates are released from Microsoft about four times a year. So that means that new features are coming out all the time. So don't be alarmed if some of the screen captures in these nuggets look a little bit different to what you're using because, you know, Office is now a living product and it's changing all of the time. So I hope I've whetted your appetite for what's to come on this course. So let's get started. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.